Today is Saturday, the 7th of March, and we're fishing Shore Beach. What's going on people? Finally back down the beach. It's been over a month since I last fish. There's all this rubbish weather we had. It's not windy today, no wind at all. Usual flag has gone from that pillar up there so it looks like it's been blown off in all the wind we had. But yeah, seat's pretty flat. Bit of a swell occasionally from the big roller waves coming in, which always tends to happen this time of year. But yeah, I'm just excited to be out on the beach. It's about quarter to eight in the morning at the moment. So the sun's just come up. I don't even care that I catch today. I'm just so happy to be out and for it to be half decent weather. But I still get set up. I'll get set up and we'll get fishing. Okay guys, just set up my first rod. Just using a one up one down rig. It's a really manky old black lug it's been frozen about three or four times in that freezer i doubt that has any scent to it whatsoever but so all i got worm wise conditions are pretty flat so you never know there might be a place about but we'll see how the worms work and my right hand rods i'll probably stick on a big bait not too sure yet, but I'm going to get this one out and cast it that way. I just noticed, walking back, look at that, for limpet shells. I saw along the latest tide mark. Shame we can't use them for bait, so I guarantee you there's something feeding the rows. It's a bit of a, like a like a whelk shell or something. A bit of a weird shape one. But yeah, crazy the amount of limpets washed up along here. Can you imagine a couple of weeks ago when we had all that wind and stuff? How many were back then? But my bots are just over there. You can see they're lifting the shingle behind me. That's about six or seven foot high. And there's all weed on top of that. So that's how high and rough the previous weather was. Going right up on top of there. But now I'm just going to set up my other rod for now. I think I'm going to stick a big bait out. Okay guys, this is my second rod set up. It's a big long up and over rig. With a whole baby squid, quite a big one. And that is just going straight out there. It's starting to get a bit dark. Those clouds are looking quite dark. It's not supposed to rain today. So I think it's cause it doesn't. I haven't got my shelter. But no bites from my other rod yet. This one's still going to fire out this way. Okay, my right hand rod now. It's just been hammered out as far as I can. Got straight out. Left hand rod, still to the left slightly, haven't seen any knocks or anything. But now I think it's just time to sit down and have a morning coffee and wait for a boat. had any obvious bites yet. I've seen a couple of tiny little nibbles in the bigger bait. So I don't know if that's crabs or maybe why I didn't have a go. So what I might do is take in my left hand rod, the one which had those manky worms on them. And if the worms still there I think I might take them off the sun squid. Let's see if we can find out what's nibbling away. Okay worms 
has gone from both these hooks. So I've gone for a double squid there, squid head on the bottom one. There's a couple of strips on that bottom there. And I'll show you why I'm using the squid inside of aqua in a moment. This is why I've decided to use squid. Puzzle fish shells everywhere. I've got mackerel with me, but squid is by the nearest thing to a cuttlefish. So something must be feeding all those uh, cuttlefish around here. So it'd be a bit silly not to use squid if I got it. I can always swap over to um, mackerel when I need to. See the height of the drop over here. Still getting the big roll of waves coming in, you might have noticed. Always seems to happen after you have a storm here and it goes calm, you just get big bowlers coming in. I don't know what causes it, but some of them can be a bit dodgy. Some are definitely a lot bigger than others. But no bites yet, let's carry on fishing. Okay, it's just coming up to high tide now. I had a little rattle on my big bait. And uh, yeah, I wasn't too sure that it's a wave or just a current or something to knock on the line. But nothing's progressed from it. Still nothing on the little squid boats either, which is a bit annoying. Still getting um, your big wave coming in, big swell, running up the beach a little bit. But yeah, quite on the fishing front. I've got some mackerel with me, so I think I might. Um, top up some mackerel baits to see if there's anything else about but yeah like I said very quiet but it's still good to be out uh, boom. still no bites or no fish guys just had another rebate up and cast out again tide is starting to turn now so I'll go on fishing for another hour so. Very slow, but it's good to be out. I'm, I don't care the bank today, I'm just so happy to be back out on the beach again. Towards the end of this week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we got really big tides, um, about 6.7, and it drops down to 0.1 of a metre. So the biggest tides of the year this, um, this week. For the earth's day, I think it's 5.2. That's how far it's going on the beach. So, 6.7, you're going to be fish sitting right back here. All this will be underwater, over high water. But I want to try and get down uh, going over low water, do a bit more exploring, see what I can find. Um, just gives an indication what's about as well. I did go down a couple of weeks ago and um, all the sand's been taken from the beaches from all these recent storms. And yeah, there's no sand about, it's just all rocks now, all back down to the bed rocks. You can see the old groins in places. So yeah, that's how much sand's gone from the beaches. A bit bigger wave coming in. So yeah, the only thing is it's gonna be a nighttime jobby, but I think low tide's about half past seven or something. So it'll be all in the dark. But I'll try and get down as I can and do a bit of filming, show you how far the tide's going out and stuff. Um, maybe try and get under the pier or stuff, see so you get some freebies. You can go down picking up everyone's loose tackle on big tides. So I might give that a go. But for now, I'll probably carry on fishing for another hour or so and see if we can find a fish. Okay, I'm on my last cast now. Just bay elastic up a load more mackerel on that one up, one down rig. Winds really start to pick up. It's got a southerly wind. It's gone from nothing to quite breezy and fresh. But yeah, I'm gonna have one last cast, leave it out for another 20 minutes or so. So let's try and find the fish on the last cast. Just come to get a bit of shelter from. 
behind the rocks here. Sort of like a southwesterly wind, just tucking down just out that breeze. It's got a fresh, cold breeze, really. I know it's supposed to start getting windy again uh, tomorrow, but it's getting about 40, 45 mile per hour winds. So, any sort of flat water here is going to be gone. But with the tides getting bigger, it should clear out. The water should turn quite clear quite quickly. So, if you get a, um, a settled spell by the end of the week, hopefully the place will come in. But for me, digging worms, all the sand's gone. So, I'm going to struggle getting any worms if I'm going to go out and place fishing. Unless I buy them, which I have not done for probably the last 15 years, I haven't bought any worms or any bait really. The only bait I've sort of bought is just squid. Everything else I've dug myself or collected myself. So, yeah, I've got another spot in mind where I could potentially dig some worms, but I don't think the sand's been taken away. But all down Worthing, Goring, just all the sandbanks are pretty much gone, and any sandbanks which are there. There's no worms in them, you walk along them and there's just no cars. So they've been well and truly taken out. Sort of see rain in the air there. I hope it's not coming this way, but um, it's not forecast to rain. Bait's only been out for about five, ten minutes. So I'll carry on fishing for another 10, 15 and see if we can find that fish. Just sitting there, waiting for a bite until I decided enough is enough. And I thought, oh, I'll just look around and see what I can see. I believe that is a spotted ray egg case. You've got an oyster shell there, a scallop shell there, a little slip limpet shell there. Got like a whelk, eggs, uh, case in there, cut a fish there, it's crazy, just that was all like a metre space around for me. So I just think there's so much more I need to learn about the beach. I bought a, um, a foraging book recently, I just, I just want to start learning more about the beach, I think it'll improve my fishing, understand the rockfall life and things as well. So yeah, that's, that's one of my plans for 2020, is just to learn more about the beach. I want, to get, I want to get down those rock pools and just explore them more and just understand the wildlife. But my baits have been out now for about 20 minutes. Still been hiding behind all these rocks here. But I think it's time to take them in. Haven't seen any bites. So I think it's time to call it a day. But let's have a look and see how we get on. Right guys, as a blank. But I don't mind. I haven't been out for over a month and I was desperate to get on that beach and just getting out here, just being outside has been great. I'll just show you how long my hook length is for that um, big bait I was using the up and over. It's good to stick to it long, but something's had a good old munch on that. It's probably just crabs, probably whiting. But I did see a bit of a bite and I just thought it was the waves, but hey, I might be wrong. But yeah, unfortunately it's a blank video, but it happens, doesn't it? I'll try and keep it real on this channel. But if you like this video, get a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys.